Hello, in this video I will explain how to compute forward kinematics of serial robot manipulators using Copiliosim. The aims of the presentation are, on the one hand, to define a set of functions to compute forward kinematics. These functions will help us to make calculations that we typically need in many robot arms, such as, for instance, the robot Jacobian, as we will see in another video. In addition to this, I will explain in this video how to automatically extract Denovit hardware parameters from a serial manipulator and how to automatically set the position and orientation of reference frames associated with each link based on joint positions. I have included in the video description a file that includes a robot with 7 degrees of freedom and 8 reference frames associated with each of the robot links. Reference frames are objects named O0, O1, etc. And they are all positioned at the base of the robot, at the ground level. And they are obviously aligned with the first joint to comply with the Novit Hardeman method. We must find out the height of the first joint, that is the set coordinate with respect to the frame O0. We also need to find out the separation distance of the tip of the end effector with respect to the position of the last joint. That's the distance along the set axis of the last joint. We will see why. Copelisim includes an add-on that allows to extract the Novit Hardeman parameters. So once we activate this uh, add-on, we need to select the first joint and then a window will appear displaying information of the Novit Hardeman parameters related to the transformation of uh, the uh, joints. And this is what I, uh, I show here in, the, in this table, in which I have included all the Novit Hardeman parameters that uh, are related with this robot. And in particular, uh, parameter L0 and L7 correspond to the height of the first joint and the separation distance uh, of uh, the, the last joint with respect to the tip. Now we must create a script and associate it with the base of the robot. In the syscall init function, we need to add the following code that will allow us to access joint handles and uh, reference frame handles. This will be stored in the joints variable and also in the O capital O uh, variable. Also, we will create a Lua table with the Denovit Hardenberg parameters that we get in our previous step. This table contains seven elements, with each of them with another table of four elements related with uh, the Denovit Hardenberg parameters of each join. Then we will create a function uh, with the name dh that accepts the handle of a joint in a Lua table with the four Denovit Hardeman parameters associated with that joint. As you can see, this function first obtains the joint value position using the getJointPosition function and also uh, the joint type using the getJointType function, which allow us to discriminate between revolute and prismatic joints. Then it computes the Denovit Hardeman transformation matrix and returns this matrix as an output argument. Now we will implement an auxiliary function that allows us to obtain a Lua table with all the transformation matrices associated with joints. As it can be seen, the function stores in a table AI the transformation matrices that the DH function returns. In each iteration of the loop, join handle and the corresponding row of the full uh, table of Denovit Hardeman parameters need to be provided. Finally, we have created another function to set the position of reference frame. To do this, we will set reference frames based on the relative position with respect to the previous reference frame. We need to provide the data, which is provided by the data function, of the specific transformation uh, matrix and using this data we will set the reference frames using the setObjectMatrix function.
Well, in this video I have explained how to compute forward kinematics of zero robot manipulators in Coppelessim. Thank you very much.